acetylcysteine, also known as N-acetylcysteine, NAC. N-acetylcysteine, NAC, is the mainstay of therapy for acetaminophen poisoning, and it is almost 100% effective if given within 8 hours post-ingestion. But recently, many studies show its effectiveness variety of diseases and psychiatric disorders. Acetylcysteine is also approved for use condition chronic bronchitis and other mucus secreting diseases like cystic fibrosis, pneumonia, tracheobronchitis, bronchitis and other several conditions related to mucus plugging. Chronic bronchitis. Chronic bronchitis is defined as the presence of chronic productive cough for more than three months in each of two sequential years. Therefore, an important goal in the treatment of chronic bronchitis is to decrease the frequency and duration of intensification, and to decrease symptoms in patients with aggravations. NAC can decrease the frequency of aggravations and improve symptoms in patients with chronic bronchitis. More recently, a meta-analysis looked at chronic bronchitis and COP treated with NAC, and there were significantly fewer exacerbations in the treated group than in the placebo group. For those with documented airway obstruction, recommendations are to take 1,200 mg per day, as a preventative. Asthma. Studies showed the preventive effect of NAC antioxidant on the AHR and steroid-resistant accumulation of inflammatory cells in the airways of the animal model with acute exacerbation of asthma. Of label uses. Influenza. According to study, in which 262 patients were given 600 mg of NAC or placebo for six months, during the winter, was conducted to determine the effect of long-term treatment on influenza. This study showed that only 25% of virus-infected patients in the NAC group were symptomatic compared to 79% of patients in the placebo group. There was a significant decrease in influenza-like episodes, severity, and length of time confined to bed and sharp reduction of both local and systemic symptoms in the NAC group. Replication of seasonal human influenza A viruses is inhibited by NAC along with inhibition of virus-induced pro-inflammatory responses. Muscle performance. Investigations showed no effect of NAC on non-fatigued muscle, although after three minutes of repetitive contractions, it caused a considerably enhanced force output, up to approximately 15%. This means that NAC can improve muscle performance. Alzheimer disease is known as a multifactorial disease with many abnormalities in physiological, biochemical, and neurochemical point of view. Aging is the major risk factor for AD that coexists with other causes of cognitive decline. NAC may prevent mitochondrial decay associated with aging and age-related disorders such as AD. Parkinson's disease. Parkinson disease, PD, is a very prevalent neurodegenerative disorder caused by unknown deterioration of cells which generate dopamine in the pars compactor, a part of the substantial nigra located in the midbrain. Parkinson disease is multifactorial disease, where accumulation of oxidation stress plays important role. That's why NAC can have some positive effect, although current studies' results are controversial. Other potential applications, but still in the experimental stage, include NAC being used as an antineoplastic agent as well as for psychiatric conditions like schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, depression, gastrointestinal conditions like hepatorenal syndrome, helicobacter pylori infections, necrotizing enterocolitis, critical care patients like lung injury, cardiac injury, multi-organ dysfunction, sepsis and hematological conditions like sickle cell disease. NAC appears to be safe in pregnancy. The half-life of acetylcysteine is 5.6 H for adults. Acetylcysteine has several mechanisms of action. 1. NAC repletes glutathione reserves by providing cysteine, which is an essential precursor in glutathione production. Increases glutathione, which is strong antioxidant. 2. It hydrolyzed disulfide bonds within mucin, breaking down the oligomers and making mucin less viscous. 3. NAC by itself also binds to the toxic metabolites and scavenges free radicals. It also increases oxygen delivery to tissues, increases mitochondrial ATP production, and alters the microvascular tone to increase the blood flow and oxygen delivery to the liver and other vital organs. 
4. Anti-inflammatory property reduces pro-inflammatory cytokines. 5. Antiviral properties immune modulation, anti-NFKB properties, and other unexplored mechanisms observed in vitro and in vivo. Acetylcysteine has good safety profile, but it also has some side effects, include nausea and vomiting when taken by mouth. Especially, vomiting and nausea risk increases around 50% after day 14 of use. Intravenous NAC can cause rate-related anaphylactoid reactions in up to 18% of patients, which is not an issue with the oral route.